What's up you guys it's deep over here and today I'm going to show you how to place anything according to the perspective of the image in Photoshop. Now usually in order to place things according to perspective what we do is we apply transformations like scale, rotate and skew on it which brings in too much of manual work and kind of becomes hectic. But the method which I'm about to show is not that much of manual and kind of automatic. So if you don't want to miss any such further methods for Photoshop then make sure that you have smashed that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So this is the image where we will be placing text according to the perspective of this image. So now let's first start by placing text at the bottom. So now if you can imagine it properly then the width of the text will be minimum at the top and the width will gradually start increasing and will be maximum at the bottom of the text. So now in order to do that thing let's first start by placing a normal text. So for that select horizontal type tool and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm using is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop then the link for that is in the description as well. After that set any appropriate size for the font and then set any foreground color of your choice which will be the color of the text. After that click on the document and then type in your text. After that click on the stick icon to place it. So now once we have our text we need to get its selection so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this t icon to get its selection. After that press ctrl or command on mac plus c in order to copy the contents which is inside of the selection and then click on this i icon in order to hide the text. After that press ctrl plus d to deselect the selection. After that make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. After that go to filter and then select option vanishing point. Now since we need to place the text at the bottom we need to get the perspective of the bottom of this image so for that click on create plane tool. So now after that using the crosshair we need to click on the four corners which form the bottom so let's first start with this corner so click over here and then go till next corner. Let me just zoom into the image and then click over here and then after this corner and then let me just zoom out and then click on the next corner over here so now as you can see we now have formed the perspective of the bottom after that press ctrl or command on mac plus v in order to paste your selection which you had copied earlier after that drag this text into the perspective which we have just now created so as you can see as you bring the text closer over here it gets much more wider and bigger and as you take it far away from here it gets much more smaller. So basically it is trying to place the text according to the perspective which we have just defined. So after that you can place it anywhere. So now after that if you want to transform this text then all you need to do is press ctrl or command on mac and plus t. After that you can transform the text accordingly. But for me the original one was fine so I'm going one step back and then placing the text properly after that click on ok. So now as you can see now we have placed the text according to the perspective of the bottom of the image. Now let's do something similar and try to place the text according to the perspective of the side of the image. So for that again select horizontal type tool and then click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. Now after that using move tool let me just place it properly and then again follow the same steps which you had followed for the bottom perspective over here. Press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this t icon in order to get the selection. After that press ctrl or command on mac plus c in order to get the copy of the image which is inside of the selection and then click on this i icon in order to hide the text. After that press ctrl plus d to deselect the selection. Now after that make the layer 1 layer active by clicking on it and then create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. After that again go to filter and then select option vanishing point. So now after that again click on create plane tool icon. After that again using create plane tool you need to click on the four corners which will form the perspective of the side of the image. So let me just start with this corner so click over here and then click on the second corner. After that click on third corner and then click on fourth corner. 
So now as you can see now we have created the perspective for the side of the image as well. Now after that we need to place the text over here. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus V in order to place the text which we had copied. Now after that we need to drag the text to the side of the image. So as you can see as you drag it, it places the text in the form of that perspective. Simple isn't it? After that click on OK. Now you can do the same thing for the right side of the image over here as well. Let me just do it. So as you can see now we have placed the text to the right side of the image as well. Now this tutorial was only shown for the text but you can use the same method in order to place anything in the perspective of this image. So that's it guys. Hope you guys like this video on how to place anything in perspective of that image in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.